We're going to look at some demand problems. The first question we're going to answer, does the curve shift or do we move along the curve? If consumer income increases, resulting in more jewelry being purchased, what has happened is there is an increase in demand and the demand curve is going to shift to the right. Farmers decrease the price of corn from $5 to $4 a bushel and they sell more corn. Remember, a change in the price of this good today is the only thing that would cause us to move along the curve and create an increase in the quantity demanded. So we're going to move along the curve. The price of cereal increases and people buy more eggs. Well, cereal and eggs are substitutes for each other. So if the price of cereal goes up, some of those cereal eaters are going to start buying eggs. That's going to increase the demand for eggs and the curve is going to shift to the right. What shows an increase in demand? Shifting the whole demand curve because the demand curve is demand from line 1, D1 to line D2. What shows a decrease in the quantity demanded? So when we change the quantity, we, we stay on the same demand curve, but we go from one point to the other. So here we would be going from Y to X. What shows an increase in the quantity demanded? And that would be going from X to Y. And what shows a decrease in demand? And that would be moving from line D2 to D1. Let's look at what happens when we move along the curve. When that happens, we call it an increase or decrease in the quantity demanded. And the cause is that there's been a change in the price of the good that we're looking at today. The entire demand curve shifts. And remember, the entire curve is demand. Um, when that happens, we call it an increase or decrease in demand. And the cause is a change in one of the determinants of demand.